In this tutorial, we are going to look at the passé composé. The passé composé is a past tense in French that refers to a specific point in time. For example, last week, last month, last year. To form the passé composé, you have first a subject, and then you have two parts to the verb. The first verb is called the auxiliary, and the second verb is called the past participle, and this is the main action. For example, ate a sandwich, studied French, went to school. So the first step, you need to decide which auxiliary to use, and then you conjugate in the present. Your choices are avoir and être. Most actions, most verbs, will go with avoir, so you conjugate avoir in the present. Some will go with être, and then we'll take a look at that in just a moment. So the second step is to find the past participle. The past participle is the main action. For example, played ball. In French, you have three main regular types of verbs. You have ER verbs, IR verbs, and RE verbs. To form the past participle of ER verbs, take off the ER and add E with an accent. To form the past participle of IR verbs, take off the IR and add I. For the past participle of RE verbs, take off the RE and add U. Now, who is Dr. Mrs. Vandertramp? Dr. Mrs. Vandertramp is an acronym for a list of verbs that go with être when you're making the passé composé. So when you're using être in the passé composé, you have to make agreement. For example, if your subject is male, you would use the male form of the past participle. If your subject is female, you would use the female form. For example, il est parti. You see that we end with an I. But if I say elle est partie, we add an E because she's feminine. And if the subject is plural, you add an S and ES for feminine plural. Again, the passé composé has a subject and two parts to the verb. The first verb is the auxiliary, where you choose either avoir or être and conjugate in the present. And then you have the past participle, the main action. I hope this helps.